Hello, this is Rakesh Rao from Design Sense Software Technologies, Bangalore. We are the sales and support point for Spatial Manager software in India. Spatial Manager is from OpenCartis of Spain and is a hybrid GIS CAD add-on for both BricsCAD as well as AutoCAD. In this video, I am going to show you how you can use Spatial Manager to import ArcGIS ISRI shape files. So you go to the import option. So in this case, I am going to import the sample data provided by Spatial Manager themselves. There are different types of data you can import like GPA, KML, SQLite and so on but in this video I'm going to show you how you can work with the shape files shape files are of three different types there's point line and polygon and then there is a multi polygon variant as well so let us look at the first one census.shp I think this is a polygon shape file so I click on next now you can provide different options when you import the shape file data so if it's points import as BricsCAD point lines and borders import as polylines you can see the different possibilities here polygon options you can also create a table as you import it which is very useful because then you will be able to tag and create the database as well so by default it creates the table which has the same name as the shape file name you can also import features as in extended entity data so what this does is it stores all of them in extended entity data so you can easily view the data from within BricsCAD itself this feature is useful if you also want to view the data in another computer where spatial manager is not installed then you can just view the data as extended entity data which does not require spatial manager the last step is coordinate conversion so it's asking you whether you want to change your coordinate system and if you specify a different coordinate systems then you can also apply the coordinate conversion here so in this case i'm just going to leave that as it is so run the task say next and finish I close so you can see it has imported all these polygons so this is from census.shp so if you go here to tools and if you go to entity data click on create or edit entity and click on any one so you can see that the data from the shape file from the database part of the shape file also has been copied here as extended entity data you can also go here to spatial manager and click on show grid and if you show grid you can see that all the data which has appeared from the shape file as dbf data as well as the spatial data you can just visually highlight them on the screen using this show grid function so if you expand this further you can see that there's a feature id there's a grow group block link object id and track so these information comes from the shape file so in a similar manner let us import another shape file so we go back here to import and i'm going to open railroad.shape next now this is a linear shape file so the point portion has been grayed out now this is also going to create table called railroad so you can see that's a single polyline which is the railroad and that appears as a shape file so this is how the import shape file function in spatial manager works do let me know if you have any questions and i hope you enjoyed watching this video thank you